mirrors are pretty much the exact same as the last one. Won't be using most of these over here, but they're out anyway. Raw, or burn umber, burnt sienna, emerald green, ivory black, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, titanium white, cad yellow light, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, naphthol red. We might try doing a cabin on this one, but we'll see. We'll see where we go. I'm just going to do the same kind of sky that we did last time. I'm not even going to do a sketch. I have, I have confidence. I have confidence in this one. And then I have some kind of brown in there. What the heck is that? My confidence has been shaken. Where that came from. Oh well. We're not worried about it. This early in the painting, you can make it you can completely change the whole thing. I could turn this guy dark. Kind of like Zach was saying with the uh, changing at daylight, you could turn it dark. scraped off that white or that that blue that blue section I knew there was another color in there I thought it was also blue but I guess it was not That's okay. what is your favorite brand of oils my favorite brand is Blue Ridge oil paints made by Eric Silver Mr. Eric Silver over in Asheville North Carolina makes excellent paints and I always like supporting local people that's all this might go to if I have an option to buy something from a nearby town I always do it or at least I try to sometimes it's a little ridiculous <laughs> There's a the sky. Let's throw in some clouds. Do some big old clouds. Maybe we don't have any clouds. I don't really know. Maybe we'll have a little one. Maybe we'll do a little, uh, little fan brush cloud with the tiny fan brush. This one. I think this is number three. We'll do some little ones. This brush is very sticky for some reason. Look at a little cloud. It's just hanging out. We'll blend them out here in a minute. There's another little frame up here. A little tiny cloud. Best friends. There we go. Alright. We'll go over to the left side. Do the same. Little tiny circles. Maybe I'll stop right there. I want the mountain to be up here somewhere. Mighty Mount Mansfield. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. Nothing too fancy with these clouds. They're just there for moral support. Let's wipe this off first and rinse them out. I know it's because I use the same acrylics as my old brands and they have gloss shine. Artscape, I think is the name. Nice. Artscape. One day they'll make acrylic paints that don't give me hives, I'm sure, but I'll try them out again. Alright, I'm just blending out the back side of this one. 
hope my arm's not in the way. It probably is. I apologize. All right, let's do this one here. or pink mountains there. Alright. Ultramarine blue. You could also use Prussian blue. It's a lot stronger. There we go. Throw that down here. smell I by the case but the tubes you have to pop a hole in them oh interesting me. I just know I added more blue to it, so hopefully it's more blue. Let's, get, let's see. Big old mountain. Big old mountain Mansfield. What's the shape of Mount Mansfield? I think it's just like kind of flat, kind of like very boring. Very boring mountain. And there's like a little peak in the middle. A steep drop, not a steep drop, <laughs> not like an actual cliff. It's just kind of like a, it's like a little kind of no layer in the middle. Field. This guy has some highlights too. Well, that's the rough shape. This will probably be one of the easiest mountains that we paint on here. So, if you're trying to learn how to paint a mountain, this would probably be a good one to start with because it is very, very boring. Boring is good for learning.
good enough there. And the top part of this mound has got some uh, a little tiny bit of snow on it. So we'll add a little bit of snow, but really it's mostly I mean, we're just going to tap green up on there and call it a day. But up here on the peak, there's going to be a little bit of white right up here. I say a little bit, and I just go in, go in with way too much. But something like that. Maybe some over there. Well, he's a little softer because he's off in the background. I don't want it to be that bright. Same, same there. There we go. Okay. There it is. There's our snow. Easy, easy mountain. Easy street. Now we get to tap in the. Uh, what do we need to tap in? We need some greens. We need some greens, but they don't want to, they don't want them to be super bright. So. I might actually just use my flat brush here. A little bit of emerald green. A little bit of that purple color. I don't know what this is, but hopefully it's not terrible. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think you use a two and a half inch brush here or the one inch. Honestly, anything here is not. This is the easy mountain. Okay. Throw some of that over here. I would use that. I mean, I do have a bigger brush. I don't know. Bigger flat brush in there. Although, technically, you could use a two and a half inch brush as a flat if it was. If you chiseled it enough. Whoops. I just knocked all my paints over. section in between. of something that looks like a hill.
same color though. Just a little bit here and there. Make it look like there's grass growing down in here. We're getting into the color range that I cannot see anything. So this could all just be a blur, of, a blur of colors, random colors that I have no idea what they look like. Hopefully they look okay. Do this other side. Whoops. Bumping on that. This side I'll go ahead and do with the two and a half inch brush. Just gonna mash this in. trees here. Take that blue. Or at least violet color. Add some green. We're just gonna make a bunch of big old big old trees. Big old trees. This is the easy painting. kind of painting you do the first time and you show it to mom and dad and they ask you how much but you do it better than me because you can see the colors I 
do need to, I mean, one day I want to get those glasses that supposedly let you see colors like regular people, or for colorblind people. One day I'll get them, but they're just too expensive. Like, I just can't justify spending that much on something that I don't know if it'll work or not. Go ahead and put a lake in. Last second. Very easy. Very easy to add a lake in. Oh, I got some green in there, but it won't look too bad. Some highlights here with the two, two and a half inch. The old two and a half inch brush. Oops. Oh, geez, I just knocked all my brushes all over the floor. Oh, no. All right. That one's going to stay over there for a bit because I can't walk around. Just wiping this brush off before I go uh, highlighting things. Let's use uh, that's way too much. <laughs> too much of that. Let's use Indian yellow. Indian yellow and the thin white. side a little bit more. Okay. Now 
just done with this one. Maybe I've got some reflections down here in the water, but kind of hard with this thing here, so. This lip here makes it hard to do this kind of thing. ripples there at the bottom and that should be about it not too much on this one very uh, low effort low low skill barrier on this one anybody can do this one that's for sure right, let's do a little bit of sienna first Just in some spots, so you don't have a straight burnt sienna, you know. There's a little bit of white there. A little bit of a different color. Okay, that's, uh, that's about it for this one. Very easy, you know, very uh, simple. Simple, simple painting here. Mount Mansfield, mighty Mount Mansfield. All right. I'm gonna sign it. You can always knock in some sticks and whatnot with the palette knife if you want. But well, for now, we'll just leave it. Maybe come back later. everybody for joining hope you enjoyed it I, know I enjoyed having you here good to be back seeing everybody in the chat and you can see my uh, hobbled together easel here all right there it is Mount Mansfield not too bad nice and easy painting simple simple simple